Hi everybody, Prof Gordon here from Exam Success. Okay, if you've been following along, you know we're now up to the example here. This is for CBA. If you wanna take a crack at this, pause the video. Try it right now before I go through my solution. I'll wait. No, I won't. You wanna just know how to do this, okay? Come on, let's say, get through this and crack the code here, okay? So put the pieces uh, together here. Uh, we've got a table which is given. My table simplified. I just want to show you the process. I want to show you how to do it. I want to show you what to focus in on so you know how to answer these questions. You, you don't want to be back here next year doing the same thing. You're never going to see this again except for the level two exam and that's it. Level three, this is all gone. So uh, the two questions that we have here is calculate the fair value of the bond. Remember, what does that mean? That was the price of the risky bond. All right, and calculate the credit spread. Oh yeah, come on. What else are they putting together here? That's gotta be the difference between the two yields, the risky bond, the risk-free bond. So we've gotta pick up these signals. Here's the information. Analyst reviewing the credit risk for a four-year, 6% annual pay corporate bond currently has a default free value of 102.2, a default free value. Who uses that kind of language, okay? Come on, that's, uh, that's the, the value for the risk-free bond. Now, a one-year risk-free rate is 3%, and the analyst assumes a 35% recovery rate is appropriate. Summarizes the information here. Now, okay, we've got the exposure, we've got the probability of default, and we've got the discount factors. You got to know what you're looking at, okay? These discount factors, I mean, are they going to have these? I mean, could they back us up here and just have these as, you know, let's say one over one plus the uh, spot rate there or something along those lines? Maybe, okay, they got to integrate the curriculum from all the areas here, okay, but don't lose your head. If you don't know what I'm talking about with that, okay, watch one of my other videos, okay, you'll see it there. Okay, so what do we need to be able to calculate uh, the fair value of this bond? Uh, we need the CVA, of course, and uh, uh, we're going to then be able to uh, calculate this, you know, based upon this uh, default free value. And what are we going to need for the credit spread? We're going to need the yield on the risky bond, and we're going to need the yield on the risk-free bond, the difference between the two. So we've got to make sure that we put this together. Okay, so now uh, that I've delayed long enough, giving you a chance to go through it, let's drop down and look at the solution here. Okay, so uh, here's a table I've written out. Uh, th this is it to summarize. So we know that uh, the fair value is going to be the default free value adjusted for this CVA. How do we calculate the CVA? Uh, well, we're going to take the exposure. We're going to multiply this by one minus the recovery rate. That's going to give us the loss given default. There it is. How do you remember this? You just got to practice. And then what are we going to do to calculate the CVA? Loss given default times the probability of default times the discount factor. We'll do that for each of the exposures. We'll add them up. This gives us our CVA, the fair value. That's the default free value adjusted for the CVA. We've got it. What's this piece of information used for? This piece of information now is used to calculate the yield. We're gonna take this and we're gonna drop it into our calculator. All right, remember plus and minus signs, okay? If you're using that Texas Instruments, uh, uh, you gotta tell it inflows and outflows. Otherwise you get that error five. If you don't know what I mean, <laughs> just uh, send me a message, I'll explain it. All right, we calculate the yield. Now here's the next trick that I want you to be aware of, the credit spread. Come on, it's just the difference between the two yields. And how do we get the yield on the risk-free bond? Okay, well, uh, the government bond, the risk-free bond, uh, that was the risk-free rate. I gave it in the question. 3%, okay? So we can calculate this nice and easy. If anybody's out there, you're, you're an exam warrior and you're looking at my numbers going, those aren't realistic, you're way off base. You'll be back at level two. Come on, forget any of that. Just be a donkey, go through the process, learn how to do it and get on with it. Hey, that's it. You want to get over this level two and on to level three. If you want more tips like this, go to my website. You want to try out my courses. Hey, you go through a lot of examples here. I'm just showing you how to do it. I just want to take away the pain points, get you over this, get you through, earn your charter. All right, that's it. Have a great day.